Well, the first step is going to be making this marinade. Uh, we need to cook this to get rid of the alcohol and also to infuse it with some flavors. We've got the wine, uh, some bay leaf, the onion uh, there, kick clove of garlic that's coarsely chopped, and uh, about half a teaspoon of black peppercorns. We're going to bring this to a boil. Uh, let it uh, cook real well for two or three minutes. I've got a fairly high heat here because I'm just trying to blow off the alcohol and it's not going to be cooked for a real long time here. We're just, like I said, two or three minutes. Okay, it's probably hard to tell in the video here, but this is this is thickened up. Probably uh, close to half the liquid's evaporated now. Now I'm going to add the fish stock. Now I'm going to turn the heat down. It was on eight. I've reduced it down to six now. We still want to have a big boil. We don't want to completely blow the flavors off now. And uh, after it reduces down to where it starts to thicken up, just a little bit, a little bit thick, then that'll be enough and we'll take it off and fill it. I have some strips of salmon here that I removed the pin bones from and uh, obviously took the skin off and uh, cut into strips. This is the marinade. It's been completely cooled in the refrigerator and I don't want to add a warm marinade to fish because it'll start spoiling it and uh, we just mix this around a little bit. This is going to be refrigerated uh, for several hours. Uh, about halfway through, I'm going to flip the pieces over to try to make sure that they absorb as much of that marinade as they can. Uh, obviously, this is enough marinade for more than three strips of fish. You could probably put uh, uh, maybe even six in there, but uh, I'm just doing three right now. In a pan that's heating on the stove, I've got already got in there an ounce of soy sauce, ounce of rice wine vinegar. I'm going to add an ounce of red wine and an ounce of dark brown sugar, along with an ounce of coarsely chopped daikon. We're going to heat this to boil uh, to dissolve the sugar, and then we'll add the the basil in a few minutes. So we want to keep the basil flavor in there. It's come to a boil. The brown sugar is dissolved, but I'm going to let this reduce just a little bit. I'm going to add the basil closer to the end to make sure that it stays completely fresh. It's been about three minutes now. I've got a handful of basil, uh, including some stems. This is a good place to use up basil stems that normally aren't much good for anything. <coughs> and I'm just going to put them in here, <coughs> let it infuse a little bit. I'm actually going to turn the heat completely off now. I just want the basil to infuse in there, or shiso leaf if you have it. Shiso leaf is even better, but uh, yeah, no chance of getting that where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to let this infuse and cool until it stops bubbling. There's no more heat being applied, but obviously the pan's still hot. And then we just strain off the solids. And this is going to be our sauce for the, the glaze, the plating. And yeah, we just put this in the refrigerator to let it cool overnight. We don't need the green parts, of course. Trim off the end. Get as much of the white part as you can. <coughs> then you're going to make a slice about halfway through it, along it, and unpeel these. We use in a container here with oil in it that's been used for at least weeks before. You can use fresh oil. You can keep reusing the same leak oil if you're making this a lot. After an hour and 20 minutes, this is what you're going to see. You have to lift these off to uh, just start cooling them off and getting the extra oil off. Just lay them out on some paper towel, blot them a little bit, and let them cool off before you start trying to uh, open them up and use them. You also need to dry the salmon on a piece of paper too to get rid of the extra marinade. If you've done everything right, you've got a nice thin sheet of leek here that you can use. And you get a good sized piece of fish, properly marinated. Just wrap it in the leek and put it on. I have a, a baking tray that is greased. Don't worry about the, the ends of the salmon sticking out. That's okay. We're going to trim those up later. And put it on the baking tray. And try to smooth it as best you can. But you don't have to be obsessive about it. It's, it, it's going to bake and uh, it'll be okay.
Yeah. This is where you're going to need your absolute sharpest knife. Whatever the sharpest knife you have is, that's the one to use. And sharpen it freshly before you try to do this too. Really isn't the right sort of plate for this, but uh, I'm fairly limited in my available choices of plating here. Let's put a little bit of the sauce over the top. Just a little bit of grated daikon on the side. Also look for my cocktail book, Cocktails of the South Pacific and Beyond, Advanced Mixology, available through Amazon online.